Okay, so I've been out and had a play with this bag now. Um, it really is comfy, it works very well. Um, there's different scenarios for where I would use this, where this would be my preferred style of bag. Um, now, if I'm if I'm out for a day and we're you know just recently we were out and we're on holiday and I'm walking around with the camera, nice evening, take some photos while we're out and about. Um, this you got to kind of choose your kit really. Um, a rucksack one, if I'm out for a long time, would be more comfortable. This is kind of all the weights going over one shoulder here, uh, and that's the style of it. But it works very much, when I've got a rucksack one on, um, and I've done a review of one of these rucksack type bags as well, um, it's great to keep it on your shoulders, but when you want to take your photo, you got to take the thing off, bring it around to the front, and zip it, get into it, put it back on your shoulders. With this one, uh, it can kind of stay on here, you know, it's quite, it's comfortable, it's, um, I'm all right walking around with this, nobody's going to particularly think I'm looking odd. Um, but when I get to where I want, I can just take that lid down and uh, right in front of me there is my camera. Okay, and I can shoot away um, and then if I want to, if I've got multiple lenses, uh, maybe I've got a few different types of lenses in here. Well, the best thing about this bag really is that right in front of me here, I can change this over. And especially if I were for instance, down at a beach on holiday or something like that, it actually means I've got a bit of protection. I could be changing this over right in front of me. Now I tend to all the time be using um, shoulder bags like this. My professional bag um, is a low pro Nova that's got all slots and things in here. It's bigger and bulkier than this. Um, I, I'm taking out when I've got two cameras potentially, three lenses, lights, and all that stuff is there in front of me. Now this feels nice and light because I don't have too much in it. Um, but it's doing the same thing. As a style, I can keep it in front of me, I can flick it around behind me, and off I go shooting. Now I don't tend to use a strap to be honest on my cameras. I've got two cameras recording here, neither of them have got straps on. Um, this is my older one that's still got a strap on. Um, so again, I'm quite often, I wouldn't walk around with a camera around my neck very often. You wouldn't see me working like that. I tend to just drop it into my bag and um, round it goes and I'm, and I'm free again. But it's easy to pull back, it's right in front of me. So shoulder bags like these, satchel sort of bags, uh, really do have a place for being out and about, being able to you know, shoot away, change stuff over. I've got my little tool pouch right in front of me, really, if you like. Um, so that would be my main type, the, the main time that I would use this and enjoy it. Um, it isn't the most comfortable if I am out on a big, you know, I'm hiking, I'm going out, taking the dog out for a walk and I want to, uh, maybe I'm going to use the camera, maybe I'm not that kind of scenario, this wouldn't be the bag I would take. You know, it's gonna bounce around, it's flapping a bit on me. Um, I would take this out when I wanted to take photos and I knew that there was gonna be opportunity. Now I do quite a bit of photography at our church. We're, we're part of a big church, there can be 2,000 people there on a Sunday and I'm on part of the team doing the photography. And this is the bag that I would use. I would take uh, several lenses in here I would get myself set up at the start of the service and know what I'm doing, um, but then I can walk around with this camera, with this bag exactly like this, and I'm literally switching and changing lenses as I'm going. Something changes, I need a wider shot, change it over for a different lens. Need to zoom in, change it over. Um, so this absolutely is the kind of thing, and I don't want to carry my big bag around. This is quite light and easy, and so this is where I would use it. Now, as I said in the last video, you've got pouches on the sides that you could very easily fill up with different things. Um, what I did find in this front, I know I'd said about it before, there isn't anything, it is quite simple in here. Um, a, a couple of little pockets in there might have just helped keep things in, whereas everything at the minute just kind of falls in and drops and goes where it likes. Um, that's not really a negative, it's just a, a style and a difference. I've had a different bag that didn't zip up, it just had two little slots in the front. Uh, I like that I could keep things in place. The downside was 
I couldn't zip it up and keep it secure like I can with this one. Um, now I did mention in the last video as well about my laptop and this is probably one of the things that I find exciting about it. Um, I found the sleeve that I was on about. Uh, this was, who's this from? In case, a uh, nice little lined case on here that I just again grabbed off Amazon. But I can put my laptop into that and now it's secure. Now it's not gonna get bashed around. And that will very easily slot into the back of here. So because we've got this inner compartment that takes the camera, behind that I can slip the laptop. So now that has become really useful for me. So like I say, when I go out on assignment, if I'm doing a job at our church or anywhere else, so I've done like I was saying before, I'm changing my lenses over, I get to the end and I wanna be able to upload my photos. So now I've got my laptop here, my pouch on the end, I can put my charger, I can put my leads in there that I need for my card reader. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool that a bag like this, at this sort of price, um, it's not designed that way, but we've just found another use for it and that very well fits in there. It all seals up, all my kits in there and hey, it just looks like a nice little satchel that I've taken out. So very pleased with this. I do like it. Uh, I do fully recommend it. Um, nothing that I've found so far in terms of the quality of it, the stitching or any of the problems like that. It seems well made. Um, like I say, there are several of them that do this type of style with a sleeve that fits in inside, um, but not all of them have zips, not all of them, again, my other bag that I bought previously didn't have pockets on the side, it had just had like two little pen holders, which I've never used. Um, this has got a lot more space around it. Um, yeah, really do like it. I like that I don't need these, there's just poppers behind there. Uh, what else can I say? <laughs> As you can see, I like this bag. Uh, go ahead and get one, you'll see a link in the description. If you do do that, then I'm able to pick up a little affiliate commission from it. Um, but otherwise, just go off and get it anyway, aside from that, uh, and enjoy. And comments below if you want to ask me any questions. I'm pretty active on here. I do like to come back to people. I love it when folk put comments, and I respect that, and we'll come back within a day or so. All right, thanks ever so much. Check out my other videos. You'll see in the next one, we've actually got a satchel bag for a different scenario. Same kind of money, so maybe you could grab both of them.